Hi everyone. I wanted to provide a brief demonstration of configuring the Big IP as a recursive DNS server using a transparent cache. So with that, let's go ahead and log into our FI Big IP. And we're going to go ahead and create a DNS health monitor because as the name implies, a recursive DNS server is not authoritative. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to configure monitor and we're going to assign a couple um, commercial DNS servers that are actually going to perform our DNS uh, resolution for us um, until we can cache those queries. So for our monitor, we're going to go ahead and do a query for NFL.com. And now we're going to go ahead and create that pool. And go ahead and assign that DNS health monitor we just created. And we're going to go ahead and assign a couple commercial DNS servers. And what that monitor is going to do now is periodically it's going to send DNS queries for NFL.com just to make sure that those DNS servers are indeed responding and uh, available. If not, it'll certainly mark one of both down. Um, so let's go ahead and add those. And we'll click finished. And now we're going to go ahead and create our uh, DNS cache. So there's actually several different uh, cache types. In this case, for demonstration purposes, we're simply going to do a transparent cache. And go ahead and click finished. And once we've got our cache created, we're going to go ahead and create our DNS profile. And within our DNS profile, you'll see some of the different options we have. And for this, we're going to go ahead and enable our DNS cache and go ahead and select the cache that we just created in the previous step. We're going to go ahead and disable bind. Uh, I already have a couple of logging profiles configured already, but outside the scope of this video, but I'm going to just show you guys how to assign a logging profile. And we're going to go ahead and click finished. And now that we've got our DNS profile, we're going to go ahead and create a listener. So for typical traffic, we know there's many different ways for the Big IP to listen for traffic. So in this case, in order to listen for DNS queries, we need a DNS listener to actually listen for any kind of DNS query of a port 53. So we're going to go and enable automap. We are going to ensure the DNS profile we just created is selected. And we're going to go ahead and assign the pool that we created in the previous steps. And click finished. And now let's go ahead and take a look at our virtual server list. And we can see our recursive DNS listener is available. And so we know that we're successfully listening. So with that, let's do a little bit of testing just to make sure we're actually uh, name resolution is being successful. We are going to go ahead and go to the command line. And we're going to do an NS lookup. So let's go ahead and use NS lookup command. And to utilize the DNS listener that we just created, we're just going to use the command server and space IP address. And we're going to first test with a common public website, USA.com usa.com it does successfully resolve now outside the scope of this video there are other configuration items within the dns profile uh, just to show you guys as an example um, some of the different capabilities and or some of the different um, experiences you might have we're going to go ahead and modify the unhandled query actions from allow to no error and go ahead and update that profile and now let's go back, go back to the command line and perform those queries again. Now, likely this is a cache response since we had it from USA.com. It's going to do F5.com. And now let's go ahead and do Microsoft.com. And if you notice that all of our queries are successful now, and that's all going through the Big IP, 
I hope this was benefit beneficial to somebody. Uh, until next time.